Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello. Oh, look at my nails. This is a result of super anxiety and deconstructing Lego. I'll take no further questions on the subject. <laughs> So just ignore them. All right, we've seen them. My name is Jo. Hi. And I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff. And the stuff she does with nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. I have some more wonderful Madame Glam stuff to show you today. I love the shiny on the box. It just makes me feel special. <laughs> so they have sent me some of their new buttercreams, which we will get out and put in some kind of, oh, go away box, some kind of order because we're not monsters. We have to put them in a nice rainbow order. I'm having a quiet day today. I don't know if you can tell already. I just, it might be all the uh, fizz I drank last night probably has something to do with it. But uh, I'm just feeling a bit calm and quiet today. So we will have a look at these. They all come with little um, lid thingies. I mean lids, but then little black lids, which is nice instead of peel off foil stuff, because that stuff annoys the bejesus out of me. Um, that one was tulip pink. And now fresh peach, which is going to be the background for today. And lemon yellow. Look at that. <gasps> Look at oh. Don't forget, you can use code MISSJO30 for a whopping 30% off your Madame Glam orders. There is a link in the description. And uh, that's it. And that's it. There's a link in the description. There's also other links for a whole bunch of things. But Madame Glam's 30% off is the most exciting of them all. Look at turquoise blue. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. And Celeste blue. And they are nice and smooth. You know when you get peanut butter? Oh, bright purple. Hello. When you get new peanut butter or chocolate spread or just something like that. Butter. And it's all smooth on top. And you just get your knife in there and mmm very satisfying this was satisfying to do with those i'm going to use the madame glam application brush which is written in a way for right-handed people to show you it's very leftist the way they've written on that brush and oh i just thought this would be satisfying to hmm yes now it's not neat anymore it's very sad but satisfying i'm going to show you the second coat because i've done them nice and Thin. Did I get a bit loud then? Sorry. I've done them nice and thin and because they are so creamy and I didn't want them to crinkle in the lamp. So the first coat wasn't full opacity. So I thought I'll show you the second coat and that then you can see the finished what it will look like. This is fresh peach. Yes, this is the one for our background today. We're going to do some dream catchery type stuff. I can't draw feathers by the way, so let's see how that goes uh, this is lemon yellow they all apply really nicely I'm, I would sort of um, what's the word just note that you do only am I going to clean that bit up there on the stick I think I do I couldn't live with myself if I didn't um, I would recommend doing thin coats because they are so creamy and the yellow I mean yellows we've had this discussion before yellows just you always have to be careful with, I think. I've found that it, I, I can make a yellow crinkle without even trying. I know, it's a very special skill I have. So make sure that you do, 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 do these with nice thin coats because the thin coats do cover, uh, do give you full opacity, but it just prevents them from um, bubbling in the lamp or crinkling. I've mixed them up a bit. I wanted to show that as well because the first couple I did, I didn't sort of give them a bit of a stir. And I found giving them a little bit of a stir has helped with the application because they are, like I say, they are really thick. So it helped when you give them a stir, it sort of loosens them up a bit and it made the application much easier. Oh, turquoise blue is just delicious. And Celeste Blue, 
we could do some nice dreamy things with this color or light blues are really good around winter and Christmas time so it suits all seasons I'm sorry if my if I'm am I too close to the mic I'm not sure I hope I'm not too sort of mumbly sounding um, I am lying on my stomach so it probably doesn't help bright purple is just bananas bonkers coconuts bananas I was going to throw an apricot in there but I won't because that would just confuse things and then French lilac which is the last of them see my application's getting a bit better now I'd um, stirred the pots a bit so we will top all of those and here they be on my glamorous <laughs> hand as an assistant I just think sometimes they show up better against like skin than white background so we have tulip pink fresh peach lemon yellow pastel yellow mint green spring green turquoise blue celeste blue french lilac and bright poiple and we have done i have done were you there i don't remember you being there <laughs> i have done the fresh peach on five nails and then i'm taking this turquoise blue and doing a half it's not a half a circle a quarter circle just in the top corner I'm going to do I'm going to mirror this on another nail as well and I'm only doing a, a thin coat let's make that a bit bigger there we go uh, a thin coat and I'm not going to do a second coat I'm not worried if it's a bit sheer because this is the part of our dream catcher the circle so we're going to have have it going over two nails so that is the loop brush I am using and I'll cure that and then I'm taking perfect black which is Madame Glam's perfect black it is perfect and I'm going to outline it and then I'm probably flashing as I go oh no we'll add this little bit here this will be our sort of center of the circle and then we're going to take some lines out just three maybe and then in between no more than three but we'll start with the middle line and then I'm going to go in between the two bigger sections I'm not going to do one either side of the ones on the side because that would be off off the nail and now I'm doing a kind of semicircle but using the and then doing it the other way but I'm not starting a whole line from the top for the second half so this bit here I'm using part of the line we just made just to give this is string this is dream catcher string should have looked at a picture of a dream catcher i did after i painted this um but it's fine <laughs> they're more kind of i, I the, the last nail i think i do the one before last i did the inside of the dream catcher a bit different so we've done jun jun we have done some stringy some stringy bits they wouldn't hang with a wiggle in them because well they would just hang straight but it looks nice and then I'm taking the lemon yellow and the spring green and I'm just I'm not being neat about this I don't I don't I'm not I'm no good at feathers so we're going to make these easy and we don't have to be neat so I'm just doing some little strokes either side getting a bit narrower towards the bottom doing one half a different color and then on the one the one that will go next to this nail I did the top half of the feather one color and then the bottom half as opposed to side to side and then so just whisk that out super quick super easy and then adding some wiggles so I, I took the black line down through the center and I don't know how to get neat nice looking feathery wiggles and after and my, it was kind of confusing myself my brain was confused do I go up and then down and then flick or down and then out and flick so I just went with wiggle a kind of out a bit down a bit like out to the right down a bit and then flick a bit to the right and then mirror it on the other side and then I cured that and we're going to use Madame Glam's gold gel paint because this stuff is a beautiful I love it so much this stuff and the silver one all their gel paints I love so we're going to outline our circle our quarter circle a half circle is a semicircle what's a quarter circle a, a quarter I don't know and then I'm going to add some little dots on the strings and we'll add some in black as well and then 
I, I kind of went over the black line that I outlined the blue quarter circle with, so I re-did it, did it again, and then I'll, like, on the inside of the gold line, and then I'm adding another thin black line on the outside of it. And I think, oh no, I also add um, some gold gel paint to the center dot of the quarter circle. Is that confusing? No. And now we are topping with Madame Glam's top coat. I think this isn't, that's not the no wipe, it's the one that needs wiping, that leaves a tacky layer. I just, it was the one I picked up. So that's the other side. You see I did the feathers just a little bit different. They're just as um, not so great as the ones on the other side, but they look like feathers, don't they? It's fine. And now we're going to do a big feather. So I've got a sort of S and then I'm taking the turquoise blue again and the, is that the loop brush? No, I think that's the Barbara 2, it's called, and just wisping out. I wanted to do... I wanted to do this set, I kind of roughly drawn it on my tablet, but I wanted to make sure it was easy because I just wasn't in the mood to do anything too um, difficult, <laughs> really. So these are just wispy wisps, nice and easy. And the, the blue, I only cured for 10 seconds. The pudding gels cure for a minute, but I cured them for 10 seconds, so they were kind of in place, but still a bit damp, I guess, because they had started curing but it kind of helped blend the next color with it a little bit. I think it did anyway. Maybe it just looked like I did because I was going over it, but I, I feel like it was sort of wet enough just to blend a little bit, but we're not worrying about getting a perfect blend between the two colors because we're gonna put stuff on top of them. And this way is much easier <laughs> than trying to worry about getting a perfect ombre between all these colors. So we've got the yellow, which is the lemon yellow, and now the p -p 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 tulip pink. And just where the line I've done is sort of curving round, I'm trying to sort of match it with the strokes I'm doing. Just put them at the right angle based on that line, but you just can't see very well because the colors are really light. Um, but you'll see them more once we put some more detail on this so now they're all on we will give that a full cure which is one minute for the for the pudding gels because Madame Glam's um, gel polishes are a 30 second cure but the gel paints and the pudding gels are one minute it does say on there so we'll always have a look and now we are going whew, goodness me talking too much now we're going over the center and we're going to do again when I just breathed out, I got a pinprick tickle at the back of my throat, went really dry. <clears throat> Beggeth your pardon. And now we're doing some more wiggles. It's uh, that my brain was definitely getting confused here about where, where to, when to go down and when to wiggle at, but it kind of looks okay, I think. <laughs> I did it on the other side. Yeah, out a bit and then up and then sort of a flick. That will suffice for quick and easy feathers. And now we're going to add some of the gold gel paint. And I got a bit carried away because it's just flinging, flanging, beautiful, this stuff. So we'll add, we'll add um, a bunch of those and then a bunch more. And then just keep going until you have a full gold feather with just, just tiny visible bits of other colour if you want. And then we will top that as well. I wondered about putting some dots on it like to sort of match the ones that are on the strings but we left it as is. I think this is my favourite one. Oh and I don't show that now, I don't wiggle it for the camera, we'll have to wait until the end for that one. I'm going to stamp a circle. I'm using the clear jelly stamper plate and the clear jelly stamper stamper which just it wasn't working that day but it just about made a circle. I wanted it to be a bit bigger than the nail, but it's sort of exactly the right same size width wise. And that's because I can't draw a circle. Don't be silly. So I, that was stamping polish, so it didn't need to be cured. And then we're going to take the 
same colours that we did with the feather, the big feather just now. And again, I'm going to wisp. I did contemplate trying to ombre these nicely, but that's not quick or easy. So we're just going to do strokes again, curing for 10 seconds, the colour before it. Or did I full cure? No, I think I just did 10 seconds. That was mainly just out of impatience sake. Um, there wasn't really um, a reason for that, but they do kind of blend a bit better. And then we'll put all the other colours on in the same manner and it will look like a bloody mess. But it does kind of get covered up with a bunch of stuff. So in the end, it kind of looked a lot better than I thought it was going to. So while I'm doing that, tell me how you are. What's new? What's everyone been up to? I've been just trying to sort press on stuff. So the box is, the sample box is being made. And she said seven days, which will be Friday. Hopefully by Friday, I'll get to see this box. And if I love it as much as I think I'm going to love it, then I'll order the boxes and then start on some other bits and bobs that will be needed so we can eventually get to um, me making press-ons for you guys, hopefully. I was also wondering, what do you think of little box frames, just little, little box frames with like five nails in if you just, if you didn't want press-ons, but you just wanted... I don't, this sounds really, I feel like I'm, I'm an arse saying this because how do you say without sounding like an idiot if you want a little bit of my artwork in a little box frame? Why would I presume anyone would want that? But I thought maybe there might be someone who does. So I thought that might be cool as well. Anyway, the, the, the whole press on malarkey is still, the ball is rolling. So I, I've cured all of those and then I put a, base coat over it and cured that and I wiped and buffed it just because I like to wipe and buff things <laughs> because we've got all those brush strokes from those colors I, it was going to be an uneven surface to get some straight lines on so we put some base coat over it to smooth it out and then I thought why not wipe and buff we're here there's the buffer let's give it a wipe and a buff and then I'm doing lots of lines through the circle and instead of doing it kind of like the other one looked a bit flowery, didn't it? I'm going to just do lots of little lines in no particular order. I'm not trying to go for a pattern. You could do. That would look nice. But um, again, quick and easy. Just a bunch of lines wherever. And don't worry if you think, oh, should that one be that? Maybe no, maybe no. Just lines. Lots of little lines. Don't overthink it. I certainly wasn't. <laughs> And then once they are on, we will give them a cure in the lamp. And then I'm going to outline. See how see how the um, colours underneath that weren't blended very nicely um, don't they look nice now? Because you can kind of you, they've, they've covered up by stuff, so it looks like you've done a fantastic ombre under there. Nobody has to know. Just don't tell them the truth. And then we are outlining this with black, which I think I kind of mess up the circle here. Even the guided circle, I couldn't quite, uh, <laughs> it couldn't quite match, but that's fine. And we will do the same that we did on the other dream catcher, the blue quarter majig. So we'll go round it with the gold gel paint is this a really boring voiceover i know i'm normally a lot more animated but i'm just having do you ever have those days where you just sort of don't really want to talk you're not happy but you're not sad you're just kind of meh just nothing content though you know i feel all right just feeling a bit hmm just quiet calm don't really want to do anything just want to zen and sort of be quiet yeah i know i have those days who'd have thought so now we're going to outline the gold gel paint with black again and then we'll add some black dots and gold gel paint dots in the inside and where some of the lines i'd done looked like a bit sort of 
fat where I joined them looked a bit too like blob of black. I just made that a black dot. There we go. Problem solved. Crisis averted. And I'm not going to do any strings or anything hanging from this with feathers. I just wanted this as just that. And we'll have the gold gel paint in the middle to get rid of that big black blob from where all, all of our lines met up. And then this dotting tool was from a set of brushes from eBay. The rest of the set was absolute garbage. But this one dotting tool, it's the smallest one I've ever found and it's brilliant. So they were cured and now we are topping with the same Madame Glam top coat, making sure it's sort of thickish. It's creamy anyway, but thickish to cover up all our lines and strokes and things. And there is that one. I think this, this one and the, the big feather are my favourite. So cute! And then last but not least, we are going to take some of... Look at the state of that bottle. Ugh, you know, you know what happened there. I'm going to... That's some gem... What's it called? Gem glue. Um, I'll put... I'll list it in the description. And I'm going to plonk some of that in on... <laughs> in the nail I'm going to cut the nail open I'm going to slice this thin nail in half and put it in there now we're going to stick that on the nail and then take a couple of these feathers which came from that pot you sent me you know who you are and I'm really sorry I do ha I, I should remember your name but it's it's upstairs um at my desk I've got the things that people have sent me because one day I'll do a video and and a proper appreciation and thank you but this came from that little pot of um, embellishments that one of you guys kindly sent me and then we're adding some stringy strings and some black dots before curing and then I forgot that I hadn't cured and went straight in with gold dots on the wet black string lines but it, it was okay it was okay and I, that this is because I was kind of done after four it was about half two in the morning and I thought we need a quick one so we stuck some of those on but I think it really suits it because the gold leaves match the gold gel paint oh and then I just thought fuck it should we just paint over the whole thing we just sealed them in I, it was too much faffing to go around and the biggest moth you've ever seen came flying in the room and I was like I need to get the hell out of here so we just went over the whole thing but I think that's fine. They're sealed in. They are still raised though. We haven't encapsulated them. So don't worry about trying to completely um, be smooth over the, over the top of them. And that is them. I hope you all have sweet dreams. Let me know which one is your favourite. Mine are the two end ones, I think. And that is using the Madame Glam Pudding Gels. They're new ones. So don't forget you can use code MissJo30 for a whopping... 30% off your orders at Madame Glam. And again, that link is in the description. I hope I haven't been too boring in this video. I really appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I'll be back soon.